Chat Jet. Welcome back to Jacked Gent Gaming. Long time no see. Uh, I've been busy for a while, so sorry for the lateness. I haven't died, so don't think I have. Um, I'm starting a new series of the Conflict Desert Storm from PS2. Now I know this is a PS3 channel, but I said I'm going to record a couple PS2 games for now on and I decided this one was a very old classic that I always enjoyed playing since as long as I can remember so I'm like hey why not do this it's a very entertaining game I think it's better than some so we shall play it today third player shooter of actually real events as you can see on the screen and you are a special forces squad four men and you have to go and just kill Iraqis. This is during Desert Storm, so we'll watch this. Not the best graphics and stuff, but you know, it's it's still a great game. Just another few seconds. Huh? Well, it's not good. So there's your two soldiers here, and that one just died, you never see again, he's dead. That guy right there is the guy that we have to rescue in this episode. So the next day, this is a different guy than the guy that died on the bridge. They look familiar, they're similar, but they're not them, so don't do them this one. Roger that, Voodoo 3. See you later. Over. And these are my, the British squad. So, it's a simple one guy on the first level sort of deal. I mean, sooner or later, like, on the third level, you <coughs> have all four guys. And that's really good. It's, it comes complicated in a way, but it's fun. So, I jumped off that. He has the a grenade launcher equipped on his gun that you can use, as you just saw. And I know this game very well, and I know that if you don't destroy that truck now, that you have to destroy it later, and that could be a real pain. And we'll take, and you can switch between single shot and fully automatic, along with the grenade. So moving on, um, nice bridge. This guy in the tower becomes a problem later, so it's good to take care of him early. And there he fell. Alright. I try not to get the alarm raised because in the alarm raised that more guys come is a big issue. Alright, so moved on until they got off the roof. That guy is also a problem. I know all the people in here. And there was actually a surprise on the other side of this bridge. And the first one in the game so far is a tank. A good enemy tank. Which is actually coming in our direction. So I'm going to speed it up because they take a while. And you could use the rocket line now and raise the alarm, or you can sneak past it and take care of it later. And I like to sneak past it because I can, and I'm strictly professional at it. Chase. Yeah, I'm just, okay. Now, it may not seem like much, but I'm actually on hard right now. It's easy, medium, and hard, and on hard, depending on what you get shot by, you can get killed in one hit. So, yeah, it's... I only do the best on here. <sighs> it's kind of a hill over here. Now, I'm using a silence pistol currently, which is supposed to, you know, it's silent. You can see in the bottom right corner, there's a silencer on it. But... If you don't aim right as you saw in the last kill, 
then that's not good. But if you do get him, you get a stealth kill bonus. And it's nice and quiet. See, I missed right there. It's good, though. Although, I don't think that guy would have heard it. But, that'll work, too. Everyone down there probably heard it. This is the building where Foley's being held. Our uh, fellow squad member, the sniper of the squad. Bradley's supposed to be the leader, but <laughs> it's bullcrap. You can level him up by how good you do with him in the game. And, uh, like, one can be, like, for instance, Foley could be, a uh, Colonel, and Bradley could still be at Sergeant, and you know, could be unrealistic, but it is possible. And now they lost the money, so that's good. That guy was trying to make a run for it, he failed. Someone's behind me. They're taken care of. Holy crap. I always like to use a rocket on that escaping helicopter. And I don't really know how to explain that helicopter. It just comes up sometimes. Well, all the time it does, but like, you don't have to shoot it. Nothing happens if you don't shoot it. But I do it anyway, because I don't really know what it does, but it's a, a vehicle that I destroyed that comes up on the stats later. So this is how you get a knife kill. And that's our friend Foley in jail. As you can see, he has been interrogated. Hardcore. And we'll say that. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I just died. And it's saying I completed the objective, and it hasn't told me to restart yet, so I guess he glitched. So I'm just gonna fast forward this. Okay, so what happened was, as I died, I completed the objective to save him. And once you open the door, he comes out and he picks up his sniper rifle and the pack of med kits, med kits to heal people. And so, it just did that. And once, whenever you die, it's like slow motion. So it was slow motion the whole time. And he limps really slow because he was injured a lot. So, <clears throat> yeah, the guy who killed me disappeared out of nowhere. I don't know where he went, but it doesn't seem like much of a problem right now because we got both of our guys up and running now. I wonder where he went though. I don't know, maybe, maybe he just left. Maybe he thought he won. Alright, so we'll move out to the bridge. The main objective is to blow up the bridge and find C4 to blow up the bridge. And blow up the bridge, of course, and then get to the landing zone and get out of here. So, I got him in a sniper spot, and we are going to make a charge and pick up a C4 here. If you guys want to see uncut footage of it, then I can do that, but most of it's just like reloading and moving people to strategic places and takes a bunch of time. You can choose. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments. <coughs> Uh, I'm using, I haven't played this game in a while, I mean I've been using PS3 and the controls are different, <sighs> great Bradley died, and I'm using a controller that I just got a while ago, it's like a wireless PS2, you have to use triple A's and it's horrible, and like the analogs are really touchy, and it's hard to get stuff, so if I'm like taking my time to snipe someone, I don't know why. Yeah, the best thing to do whenever you're like this is just to lay down. Especially your last guy. Jeez. I mean, Foley's a good sniper, but up close, he's not a good sniper, so it's always gonna have an automatic on people. But like that. Like Bradley coming for him. But, you know. When every person dies, you have to mainly go up and heal him. Like, it doesn't. Yeah. You, know, you can switch between them any time by hitting the directional arrows, and that's what I do. <coughs> Or you can like do field commands like I just told him to follow me to pull out the C4. 
No, it's really strategic. Making sure everybody's safe. It's a really fun war game. I love it. Alright. Well, usually whenever we do that, all, all crap breaks loose. Like there's a tank from under the bridge. It went all the way around. And since we already picked up a couple rockets laying around, we took care of that pep. And that is your quick scope version on Conflict Desert Storm, you Call of Duty lovers. <laughs> <coughs> Which was very hard to do, but I did it. It is possible to do it. Like, there's a guy up here who comes down the hill, I'll see if I can get him with a quick scope. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, that was, cool. that was quick enough. And we're going to head to the LZ, which is where Bradley was originally dropped off. And usually that's marked by red smoke, and then you just go over and wait for a helicopter and you're done. There's 15 levels on this game, and this is the first warm-up one. And if you guys want to see more, let me know. There's even a second game. If you want to see me do it on a harder level, I can do that. I don't know what you guys think. It's always good to have public opinion, but don't be afraid to comment. Experience Subscribe if you aren't already. Get awarded. notifications whenever I post. Skill See, Bradley got ranked up. He's staff sergeant now, and he has a medal. Foley did not get a medal. He didn't do much. It's like he saved Bradley. Because Bradley saved him. So, yeah. And here are the stats. As you can see the ranks and all this stuff right here. Pause it if you want. I'm not going to hold it on. So, uh, yeah. Till next time.